Hello, hello, bonjour everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel, my name is Cyril, I used to be a stem cell researcher for many years and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how to start an anti-aging routine when you are in your 30s and what am I going to do, I'm going to split this video in two parts, so the first part will be the first, I would say, phase of the routine and then the second phase where you will be able to introduce um, other actives. Most of the time, a common mistake uh, that I see very often is that people put all the actives at the same time and what's going to happen is that because the skin didn't build a tolerance or even get just used to those amounts of actives, the skin starts to be very irritating, you have red patches, inflamed skin, you have a lot of sensitivity and etc. And what you're going to do is to just uh, quit everything or then you are going to look for a product to repair the skin barrier and so on. I mean, this is very problematic. A simple way to avoid this is to simply add one by one the ingredients and also something so important, you need to understand what actives you are using and how they work. I've also decided to do a very, very simple uh, routine. I'm also going through this video to give you a lot of tips on how you can adapt the product for uh, different skin um, issues. So we are going to start in the morning and during the first phase, it will be extremely simple, which is basically prepping the skin, had a layer of hydrating product, moisturize, and of course, uh, sunscreen. So the toners that I've chose for this routine, I've chose uh, two. The first one, which is a classic, this is simply the Coco Gym Lotion from Adelago. So this bad boy right here that contains three different forms of hyaluronic acid. Something that I always say that hyaluronic acid is a molecule that has a strong bonding to water. So what it's going to do is to simply attract the water in your skin. Um, also something about hyaluronic acid, this is not a natural humectant that we find on top of our, of our skin. There is almost no hyaluronic acid on the top surface of the skin, which doesn't mean that it doesn't work. Absolutely not, it works beautifully. But where you find hyaluronic acid is deep down in your skin, especially in the dermis. And we can also find it in the epidermis when the skin is in healing process. It's going to synthesize uh, small frag uh, fragments, uh, small fragments of hyaluronic acid. But anyway, this is still an excellent uh, product to use for sure. The other one that you can try, especially for those of you who are just bored with hyaluronic acid or simply because every time you are using a, a hyaluronic acid based product, it, it starts to ball up, is this one from I'm From. This is the rice toner. So a sort of funny story about it is that I have, like I do most of the time, tried to find some legit uh, scientific information, especially about rice on the skin, and they are basically um, known. But it is still something very, very um, efficient. Something that I, uh, I often say is that an hydrating product, this is something that you can see uh, very quickly, because when you are layering the, those hydrating pro products, you should see a plumping on the skin, especially upon of uh, application, and this one is an excellent one. So it's mainly composed of uh, rice, so of starch from the rice. And guess what? Starch are uh, sugars, and sugars love water, so they also retain uh, water. I also highly recommend uh, this one. So the Kukunjun uh, lotion, which is in reality a toner, or in a sense, whatever the name is, a little bit like a jelly. It's still very, very runny, but you can um, see that it has like this jelly-like, I would say, consistency why the rice toner is very, very liquidy. The way that I usually like to use them is simply to pour them on my hands. If in the morning you feel that you do need to cleanse uh, your skin, I often recommend to simply use water. So you can simply oh, splash your face with water. You can also use uh, one of those uh, cotton pad, soak it in water and be very gentle on your face. You can also use a water mist. If you feel fancy, you miss your face miss the cotton pad and then gently pat it um, all over your face. Or you can simply use the cotton pad with the toner to use as you prep your skin. And then again, add a layer of toner. Once you have used the those toners, you immediately apply your moisturizer. It is important to apply the moisturizer on damp skin. So the two moisturizer that I have in this routine is this gigantic tube from Claire's. This is the supple preparation all over 
um, lotion. If you want to know more about this formula, I have a whole video dedicated about this one that I'm going to link um, on the top. I love this one. It is so cost effective. A feature that I love about this one and also the second one that I'm going to show you is that you can build up the moisturizer so you can add an extra layer. Another one that I also love is simply this one. This is one from Cos AX, the ultimate nourishing rice, the overnight spa mask. I highly recommend this one and to use it as a simple moisturizer. Now, if you have a um, more oily skin type or uh, I would say extreme combination skin type, so your cheeks are pretty normal to dry while your T-zone are very oily, an excellent tip is to use those cream uh, pure undiluted directly on the driest part of your face and when you are going to use them for example on your forehead or on your nose you put simply a little dollop of the cream and then you had a couple of drops of the toner to lighten the texture of the cream and you will make this cream compatible for um, all your area or simply for all your skin type this is uh, a tip that I highly recommend also you can do it if you choose to use a sunscreen that is very very emollient therefore you will need less moisturizer and this is a simple way to tweak the formula then it's of course sunscreen especially in the beginning of this routine because i am going to recommend of course to use retinol you need to build a tolerance towards retinol and what happens is that during four weeks to six weeks the skin might be irritating and the reason is because the top surface of the skin the skin barrier also known as the stratum corneum become thinner in the beginning of the process but the overall thickness of the skin increase and therefore you will have um, very sensitive skin this is why I highly discourage you to use any product with, of course, a perfume, which is not the case of all those um, skincare for today. Also, no alcohol, no essential oils, of course, and this is very relevant, especially for the sunscreen. So I have three sunscreens to recommend during this routine. So the first one is this one, the Skin Aqua, the UV Super Moisturized Milk, which is an excellent one. This one has barely any white cast. So if you have fair skin like mine to medium skin tone, it will be perfectly uh, suitable. Even on, dark, on darker skin tone, I have tried it. It does have a very light white cast, but it is not a strong one. What I love about this one is that uh, all the filters are encapsulated and therefore it is compatible with a lot of different skin types. Another one, and uh, this is the new version of the Anessa, the Mild Milk. This one is the old version because the other one I am currently testing it, so I don't have it in my studio right now. Uh, the new version is actually uh, quite good. It is still have this uh, sort of oily film. This is not coming from an oil. This is coming from, I guess, from the dimethicone, so from um, a silicone, but this is an excellent one when you do need a pretty hardcore sunscreen. So I'm thinking of, about all those of you who are living under a sunny area or simply if it is uh, summer, for example, for you, it would be better to use um, the anisatamide milk over the Skin Aqua because the filters in this one are definitely more robust and it is also alcohol free and fragrance free. So the white cast is not horrendous, but it is still present. Therefore, um, if you have medium skin tone, you will, st uh, you will start to see the white cast. It is not horrendous, but still, I mentioned it. Of course, if you have darker skin tone, it won't be for you. Which is why I want to also recommend this other product that is also not in my studio right now, but I've already done a full review on this one. This is from the French brand SVR. This is the Cicavit Plus, the cream SPF 50 Plus, and this formula is simply amazing with very, very robust filters. This is a uh, top level. Also, you don't have the classical filters. By classical, I mean like the octinoxate, the octocrylene, also the oxybenzone. So those three filters, they can trigger some skin allergy or some reaction. With this formula, it is um, completely different. It is a little bit um, ammonian, so therefore I do encourage you, especially if you don't have dry skin, to dilute it with, uh, to dilute, I mean, your moisturizer with a toner, like I have said. So now let's move on to the evening. So of course, because this is the evening, because you have used your sunscreen, I always encourage you to double cleanse your skin. A simple way to do it is to use a sort of um, all base product first on dry skin and then followed by a water base 
cleanser. I have two videos about uh, about this. I have my favorite first cleansers and also my favorite second cleanser that I'm going to link on the top and also in the description box. So the two that I recommend for this switching but you don't have necessarily to choose uh, those one is this one from Curel or Curel, the makeup cleansing gel. Excellent. If you also want to have like some uh, skincare with the entertainment and you're a bit bored about uh, the classic oil, I would say and the classic balm, this one is a great option. And then followed by this water-based cleanser on damp skin. So you use this one on dry skin, you spend some time to really massage in well your skin and you will see that it's very pleasant to use. Then you do, you do a quick rinse. It is not important if you still have some residue and etc. No problem at all. And then on damp skin, you are going to use the extremely gentle cleanser lotion from Avin. I really, really like I really, I really, really like um, this one. Again, you massage your skin and you rinse it very thoroughly. Then it is exactly like in the morning. You are going to apply a lot of your toner. Also, if you feel that your skin is de uh, dehydrated, you simply add several layers of this one. You can go up to seven layers, like the seven layers me method. What is going to happen is that during this process, the water will evaporate and it's going to concentrate the hyaluronic acid from this one and the rice starch from the rice toner. And it is a very simple way to just increase the um, uh, humectant content on the surface of your skin without breaking the bank uh, and also without using any editing so, so now we are going, of course, to talk about retinol. So during the first uh, period, I want to have something that is gentle to allow you to build a tolerance for at least a month to two months. So basically, you can also simply use the product until you finish uh, them. So I have uh, two uh, retinol options, one that is very, very uh, gentle with also a super elegant formula. And this is this one from Polacho. This is the clinical, the ceramid enriched firming moisturizer. So this one contains a low percentage of retinol 0.1%, which is still um, efficient. And this one is combined with ceramides and also derivative of vitamin C. So you have an all-in-one product. So the way that I recommend to you this one is to use it every other night for at least a week. You see how your skin react to it. And then on the second week, you are going to use it every single uh, night. And basically you are doing, you are going to do this for at least a month to two months. Another option is simply to have a retinol, I would say, free uh, routine. is for those of you who are very, very scared to do it. And it's simply to use the famous nightly serum from Dr. Sam. I really don't understand why this product doesn't have uh, more hype because it is a, simply an amazing formula. So this one doesn't use uh, retinoid. It use, uh, actually, it doesn't use retinol. It uses Granactive and also bakukul. So bakukul is an extract from um, a plant, the bachi plant or baki plant. And there are some nice studies that show that it could have a sort of retinol-like effect. Of course, the amount of scientific data are not as robust for sure as for retinol. There's uh, no doubt about this. But to start an anti-aging routine, this is an amazing product. So once you have used those products, of course, it will be moisturizer time and be very, very generous uh, with your moisturizer. And I also strongly encourage you to use all those products, the retinoid product also under your eye area and also on the top part of your lid and be very generous with the moisturizer. What you can do um, at night is to apply a thick layer under your eyes. Just be careful to not go too, too close to the waterline. And just before going to bed, you can remove some of it to make sure that it does not migrate into your eyes. So now let's move on to phase two. So basically you have done this routine for at least a month to two months and you simply want more. So the gentle way to do it is to simply add in the routine on top of the nightly serum, the granactive emulsion. And I said the emulsion, not the granactive or not the retinol from the ordinary. Why? Because this one contains granactive and also, so like the nightly serum, but at a higher concentration, if I'm not mistaken, and also a low dose of retinol. So they will 0.1%. Uh, if uh, you still need more, in that case, you will need to introduce a higher concentration of retinol, especially if you are suffering from a lot of hyperpigmentation. Retinol can help. 
I say can't help because like in terms for um, like a strong melasma, it is very difficult to tackle it. Oh, simply because you, you feel that you have uh, more wrinkles, you have a, a photo damage and etc. So in that case, I encourage you to introduce the, what I chose, the 1% retinol treatment, not the booster, the treatment. So the packaging is very similar to this one. I don't have it uh, currently because I don't use it in my routine, but my mom does have an old video with my mom um, routine. So the way that I want you to introduce the 1% retinol because it is very, very potent is to first start with twice application in the evening during the week. So a good example would be uh, every Wednesday and then every Sunday. Don't do every Wednesday and then Thursday. You do it for two weeks and then you are going to do it uh, three times per week. So for example, Monday, Wednesday, and every um, Saturday, every evening for two weeks. And slowly you are going to build your way up. In between the test and in between the session, you can still use the clinical if you if you have chosen the clinical or the nightly um, serum. Again, when you have introduced those new active, you need at least two to three months. So in total, this routine should last you at least four months at minimum, but the best way would be to, to do it for almost six months. Of course, we can take this whole routine further and I can show you how to introduce um, different actives. Also, once you have built a tolerance, especially to retinoid, most likely you will need to introduce an acid. So comment down below and tell me if you want me to do a follow-up of this routine. So basically a part two of this video. If you have liked this video, please consider to thumbs up. Also, if you are new, please consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am Cyril Laurent. I have plenty of stuff over there. I thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you next time. Au revoir.